Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we are going to do 10 graphs. Now when we are doing 10 graphs you will realize it is exactly the same as you had done sin and cos. Now when we were fiddling with the number that was immediately next to theta we affected x. If it is multiplying by 3 then I am going to do the opposite which means I am going to divide by 3. So what I'm going to do to the x value here is I'm going to divide every x value by 3. When they're asking you to draw it, you will usually get a restriction. Okay, so I'm going to divide the x by 3. That would give me minus 60, minus 45, minus 30, minus 15, 0, 15, 30, 45, and 60. Now, when we're doing this, the values we're going to take is this line would be our x line, and this would be our y line. So, our coordinates, the first one is minus 6 and 0, minus 60 and 0. Then we've got minus 45 and 1. And then on 30, we have an asymptote. Now, remember, the asymptote means the graph can go through it but not touch it. So the graph would go something like this. But it will never ever touch the asymptote. Then we have minus 1, minus 1 and minus 15. We have 0 and 0, 15 and 1. And then again on 30 we have an asymptote. So our graph is going in that direction. Then it continues and we have minus 1, we have 45 and minus 1 and then we have 60 and 0. If we had continued and we had went to 90, then you can see the pattern going like that and you can see the pattern going like that. Now sometimes if you don't do all the coordinates because let's say I had given you a restriction of minus 90 to 90 and you didn't do all the coordinates but you start seeing the points then you can just fill it in because then it starts repeating itself. Okay, Let us look at the next graph. Now we have f of x is equal to 10 theta minus 60 and our restriction is minus 180 to 180. Now if I am minusing 60, then remember it's an x-axis, so we're usually working with the opposite, so I'm adding 60. So you're going to add 60 to every x value. We have minus 120, 150, 195, but look, I'm by 180, so I know I don't need to go further. Here, perhaps I should see if my next one was, my next one should have been after minus 180, I usually would have had, or have had, let's say, minus 225. So if I say minus 225 plus 60, I end up with minus 165. So we could put that point in because we can see, hey, you know what, it's going to be within the limit. Now, let's draw our graph, this y value, and we're going to use this x value. Now, our original ones that when we worked with was 45. Now, here, if we start with 60, we could go on with 60, right? Let's say we started with 60. But if you think in your head, 60, 120, look how many you're missing. So, if you look, you'll notice all of them are multiples of 15. So, it's wiser to go in 15s than to just go into 60. You'll be able to see things better. When you're drawing this graph, what is nice is that most of the time, 
the department gives you the diagram sheets so look for them don't just start drawing crazy go at the back look on your question paper at the end in the matric exam they usually give you a diagram sheet with the cartesian plane already drawn you don't always have to draw this diagram you can just go and you can use the one that they have given you okay that will save a lot of your time and sometimes uh, that will make it easier for you because it's already done so you don't need to think and it gives you an idea of what your your drawing should look like because it would limit already the the axes and it will give you uh, you'd be able to see okay my restriction obviously is not till 360 the drawing is drawn to 180 so go and look in the back of your exam paper and see if there's a diagram sheet most likely there will be a diagram sheet okay now let us plot we're going to have minus one year so we have minus 165 so if we take between 180 minus 180 and 135 then we're looking like more or less here and let's say our dot is going to be there then we got minus 120 and 0 then we got minus 75 and 1 and then on 30 we have an asymptote then we have 15 and minus 1 we have 60 and 0 105 and 1 150 and an asymptote okay now if you look at this coordinate I missed one minus 150 minus 165 and minus 180 so which means that this dot is actually on minus 165 now let us plot it now see here right if we had minus 0 now we need to know a but you know they said I must go to 180 is what is happening on 180 now if you looked here right and we had minus 225 the next point would have been minus 270 if I added my 60 I would have been on minus 210 which means that I would have exceeded the 180 long time so when you see that it's not going towards that you must use your calculator so we have f of minus 180 then you would press in your calculator 10 minus 180 minus 60 and our answer is minus 1 comma 73 so it would be before the two line just above it so let's say around there so on our 180 line we're going to continue we're not going to put an asymptote because there's no asymptote on that graph so you would draw an estimate and then you would continue with that part but you have to draw till 180 because that was the requirements can you see at this side here on your right hand side we had also went only to 150 so if they require us to do to 180 then you have to do it 10 open brackets 180 minus 60 now you know where I'm getting this formula from it's from the original one that they gave us and then you press it in your calculator and we got minus 1 comma 73 again so we've got more or less a dot around here again and we know the graph is going to go like this and it's going to go towards the asymptote so you only draw that piece and you would stop you're not going to go further because as soon as you start doing this you're actually going past the 180 mark so we're not going to do that you're just going to take it from the 180 point so in other words you're taking from the 180 point and the minus 1 comma 7 and you're going to draw it down towards the asymptote thank you for watching